Okay guys, running late, like usual. Uh, <laughs> the tripod broke, and then I went searching for super glue, and when I finally found super glue, I tried to fix it, and then I super glued it wrong, so now it won't hold my camera. <laughs> um, anyway, so sorry about the terrible video quality you might end up with on this video here. We have been super, super busy. We have done some canning, lots of canning, and uh, the garden is doing lots of growing, you know. Just kind of blooming everywhere still. And I even did some more planting. We went ahead and planted our fall crops so that they're coming in just as everything else is starting to really peter out of here and um, we don't really have a complete lull in our garden. So let me show you what's been happening and try not to make this insanely long, okay? Jarrah's lima beans have officially made it all the way to the top of the trellis and the cucumbers are not far behind. We actually harvested a cucumber yesterday that was closer to a watermelon size than it was cucumber because it was just kind of hiding in the back and I guess I missed it a couple of times. And then we have this neat little thing here. This is two cucumbers mend mended together into one. So that's pretty neat. I'm excited to see what the end game of that thing is. <laughs> oh, look at that. Got a nice little cucumber right there, even. Then we have, you know, our cantaloupe over here, or muskmelon jungle. There's a melon there. If these leaves will just stop fighting me. And it's just kind of trying to go everywhere out into the walkway and all. These are our newest green beans and they're really starting to come in now. Sorry, there's an airplane flying above. I can't help it, guys. Our ground cherries are really starting to come in. We've actually harvested a few of them. Not, not much, maybe a handful. Here's Jay's super crazy hot peppers. You know, the ghosty ones. Then, you know, my giant bush of basil that started off as one little seed and has now become a giant bush. And there's a little bee running around, well, flying around. My flowers over here that are trying to overtake the peppers and the weeds are trying to also overtake the peppers as you can tell. So we've decided that these, we have decided that these um, are mini bells because I can't think of anything else they could be. We planted multicolored mini bell peppers so I believe that's what these are. This one looks like it's going to be a red bell and this one looks like it's going to be yellow. And then we've got some <laughs> Aji Cherapita, or not Aji, sorry. We have some Sugar Rush Peach Peppers ready over here. Jay will be trying all these peppers for everybody so that you can all see what they taste like. We do have some Aji Cherapita growing and uh, Jay actually has the only one that's turned ripe so far in the house to try for you. So you can see what it's, what his reaction to that one is. And we got massive okra plants. You know, they're, they're about chest height to me now. And we actually pickled our first jar of okra today. And I'll show you a video on all of our pickling later so that you guys can see all that too. We've got some coloring to the Reza Macedonian pepper down here, and now you can really see those etched lines on it. 
Lots and lots of peppers on this plant. All of his peppers are coming in, needless to say. Let me get all my beautiful color things here. More okra. Then here's this tiny pepper plant with lots of peppers. The onions are starting to get big. And these are the Chinese five color and they're finally starting to change from purple to what I think is going to be yellow next. We'll see. I've got these beauties over here finally popped up and showing off. Bright and luscious. And I just love this color right here, guys. It's like a pinkish, orangish, red color. I don't know. It's so pretty. Anyway. Then we got some of the pink ox heart tomatoes growing. This is our first butternut squash almost ready. Sadly, we have been attacked still by these darn squash bugs. I wish they would just go away already. I have officially decided that um, next year when we plant squash, we are going to plant squash completely out of this garden. It's going to be its own little bed on the other side of the yard. Uh, the bed that the kids are using right now will probably be the bed that the squash go into. Um, only because they just, I mean, they got attacked, you know, and last year we didn't plant squash, but we planted pumpkins and we didn't have any issues with squash bugs. So it just must be the zucchini and the uh, straight neck squash that they just really love. Just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of nature going on in here. So I forgot to show you guys this on the last garden tour, but this right here is our first loofah gourd. And look how massive that thing already is. And then we've got another one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right up there hiding in those leaves. And here's another one started right here being pollinated. I'll let the chickens out. Hey ladies. They're really loving it now that they can just free range. But we have all of these things happening in the garden. You know, the okra. These okra over here are still quite a bit smaller. Now, those ones down there are big, but then these ones through here are pretty small. And I don't know if you guys remember or not, but we had pepper plants down here because I heard that if you put pepper plants by okra plants it really just kind of help each other out but these pepper plants are like still so tiny then we have this one um, sunflower plant I've got to show you guys this because it's not like the rest okay so here's our first one that bloomed it looks dead and terrible but we're actually saving it for seed so it's gonna stay there but the one behind it here has multiple heads. Do you see that? None of the others have multiple heads, just this one. So I'm not sure if that's like a normal thing for sunflowers, since this is my first year growing them, um, or if somehow that one just kind of got uh, a little crazy on us. And over here, we got the kids' cucamelon doing its thing. Sorry, let me get you focused. It's trying to sprawl out and we're trying to get it to climb up. But it is doing something. And, oh my gosh, I just seen this, but this, oh my gosh, camera, come on now. The camera doesn't want to focus. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is our first sign of cucumelons coming in. So hopefully we get to see some of these come through here pretty soon. You know, big okra, and then here's my pumpkin plant jungle. <laughs> uh, this part of the garden has kind of been neglected. Not because I wanted to neglect it. Oh my gosh, guys, look how bad it is. <laughs> 
Uh, it just, the weeds hate my life and they are just terrible. Anyway, we have some more pumpkins. So this pumpkin is super crazy dark, but it's starting to get its orange color. The squash bugs have been full force going after the pumpkin plants and it makes me really sad, but we do have one nice big old baby right here. Um, it did fully turn orange, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's a little sooner than we need pumpkins, but now I can say I grew a pumpkin at least, right? <laughs> they um, are just kind of going everywhere and it's terrible. This, look at this guys, do you freaking see this? Do you see it? That right there is an assassin. I'll drop my cucumber. Okay, for real guys, if you have any tips, tricks, ninja skills against fighting these dang bugs, please tell me because this has been probably our biggest problem this growing season. And I don't know if it's just the rain brings them in and makes them, you know, really like it or what but I mean this has been an insane wet season compared to usual look at this crap that's an assassin bugs right there do you see that I'm not getting even close to that crap but do you see, see this like everything seems to be wanting to eat my pumpkins and it makes me so sad anyway we have pumpkins growing out there too but it's a forest, guys. You know, gotta walk through the forest of my garden. Then we got the corn growing back here, you know, doing its thing. And we got this corn over here. Look at these uh, morning glories. Look at that. That's the first flower bud on this entire thing over here. It is doing what I wanted. It took a lot longer, but you know, the rain set us back big time. But they're looking nice now. If only I can get all these weeds out of the way. I need some magic potion. Poof, be gone, weeds. And this is our popcorn, waiting for it to dry so that we can reap the benefits of that. Here's the watermelon. So they are both moon and stars watermelon, for sure. Uh, they started off really light, which was kind of confusing. But as you can tell, big old Bertha over here. And she got some little spots and she got dark on us. So, um, weeds suck. I'm sure all of you know that. But just in case you didn't, now you do. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a video on um, like our biggest fails, our biggest gains, uh, what we'll do differently next year, and all of that at the end of summer. So I'm here, the end of our summer is right before October-ish, uh, so I'm going to do it probably the end of September. Tell me what you guys want to hear on our video, um, and I'll put some of those in there. If you have any questions about how we did anything, how anything tastes, or anything like that. As I said, the peppers, um, they're all new, so Jay's going to be testing all of those out on video so you guys can see his reaction to them. You can see what the pepper looks like at its final stage before it's harvested. Um, and you can um, find out how hot or not hot it might be. And if we make any kind of salsas or anything like that, then we'll let you know what kind of peppers we used in each salsa. I will say, sadly, if we do make salsa, we're probably gonna have to use some uh, somebody else's tomatoes. We have a farmer's market and a fresh market right up the road from here, so we'll probably have to go up there and get some tomatoes just because our tomatoes have done 
so horribly so far this year. I would love to say that they've done great, but uh, so far, not so great. So here are some tomatoes almost ready. The cracking is just insane this year. Uh, and I'm sure it's because of all this rain. Like seriously, two days ago, we got four inches of rain in just a couple of hours. And that's just how this year has been going for us. We get a crap ton of rain out of nowhere and just everything's having a rough go. Here's another one of those big old melons though. I got melons out the wazoo, guys. At first I was like, man, I'm not gonna get any melons. And now I'm like, holy crap, what am I gonna do with all these melons? <laughs> Look at this, there's the bell pepper. That's all a little funky bell pepper. What is the bell pepper? It's the first big bell pepper we've gotten because most of our bell peppers died. We did plant, um, let's see, we planted carrots and cabbage and what else, broccoli, a couple other things, you know, the fall stuff, stuff that doesn't need all that hot, hot weather. Hot, hot. There's that mint. Still smells as good as it did the d first day. And look at this. Beautiful, beautiful flower right here. Just look at that. Would you just look at it? Super pretty. Anyway, that's about it for the garden tour. Um, I'm going to let Jay try this pepper and show you guys what it tastes like. Or not show you, but tell you what it tastes like. He also has the Aji Cherapita. And uh, I'll also put up our canning videos that we did so you might get a little blasted with videos here in the next week or so sorry it's been so inconsistent but with the crazy amount of rain and the just craziness of the kids being out of school it's been kind of hard to keep up on being consistent with everything anyway if you like this video give us a big thumbs up Share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye guys.